Hey family, welcome back to Transit with Ebony. It's Ebony here dropping out with another quick message. Welcome back, everyone. If this happens to be your first time here, welcome to the family. If you happen to be listening in on the podcast, welcome to another episode. I hope everyone is doing amazing today. I just have a quick message for someone. This is a very specific message. Don't make social media an idol. Someone you've been idolizing social media content. And you may sit back and look like, hmm, what, what is she talking about? Hear me out. Now, I know that there are many awesome content creators here, um, you know, not only on YouTube, but the other platforms as well. We, we, you know, drop some really valuable content or, you know, give prophetic messages and words and warnings and things like that. That's all great. And thank you for your support. However, myself or any other creator out here, any other man or woman of God out here that is, uh, you know, posting content or delivering God's word or delivering God's messages, we are no substitute for God himself. We are merely messengers. We are women and men just like you. And yes, we come on here and we deliver messages and things like that from the Lord and, you know, um, provide valuable content to you. However, that is not a substitute for your relationship with God. God is leading you to come to him. God needs you to work on building your own relationship with him. When is that last time you opened up your Bible? When is the last time you actually read a scripture? When is the last time? You didn't do any of that. You just sat in the presence of the Lord and just talked to God heart to heart and just laid it all out before God, laid all your burdens at his feet and asked God for guidance, for wisdom, for knowledge, for his understanding to reveal certain things to you, to give you revelation, to give you clarity. When's the last time that you, that you worship God? When's the last time that you gave him praise and honor? Because it all starts with relationship with God. That is how you're going to keep, um, that's how you're going to prevent from being deceived by the false prophets that are out here, um, you know, speaking things and sharing things and using the Lord's name in vain. You've got to know God for yourself. You've got to know God for yourself because just like every, every one of us, every person that you are watching that is sharing the word of God and things like that, we have a responsibility of our own. And that is to have a relationship with God first and foremost. You can do the same. Now, yes, God does use his people and children as messengers, such as myself from time to time to come on and say, you know what? This is something that somebody needs to hear. Let me go ahead and, and, and deliver that. And that's fine. But don't become dependent on that. I know certain individuals that will become addicted to hearing prophetic messages on social media platforms and say, you know what? OK, I don't have to open my Bible today. I don't have to spend that alone time with God. All I got to do is jump up and turn on YouTube or turn on some other social media platform and get my prophetic word in for the day. Let me let me get a word from the Lord today from said person. How about you talk to God and allow God to reveal his word to you? Now, he may do that in many ways. He may do that audibly. He may give you knowledge and understanding of certain things. He may use one of his, his prophets. He may use one of his children, one of his messengers to come and speak a word to you. He may use a stranger off the street to work, walk up and speak a word to you. Never limit God in the ways that he can communicate with you. God is waiting on you to communicate with him. God is waiting on you to seek him. He wants you to seek him with your entire heart, with your whole heart, and then you shall find him. Ask, seek, and knock. Ask, and, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. But you have to ask, seek, and knock. If you want God to reveal himself to you more, ask him. If you wonder where God is, seek him. 
Seek him in everything and you'll find him in everything. You want God to open doors for you? Knock. That's all you got to do. So I just want to thank you all for all of your support here on this channel. And that is amazing. That is great. And I am grateful for you all. And I'm just being obedient when God puts things on my heart to come on here and share with y'all. And there are other things, um, you know, that God has using me, you know, as a catalyst to many of you based off of the things that I have encountered, endured and overcome myself, um, you know, but at the same time, build your own relationship with God. Sometimes God will lead you to doing a social media fast. Now, fasting is, um, you know, abstaining from con consuming something and making that sacrifice unto the Lord, spending that time with him. Now, as you're abstaining from consuming certain things, as you're choosing to not consume certain things, whether it be food, whether it be social media, whether it be the TV, whether it be music, um, whether it be anything you like to do or that you do a whole lot. Maybe it's, maybe you have a thing for shopping and you say, you know what? Okay. I'm, I'm going to abstain from stop shopping. I'm not going to do that for whatever. I'm not going to go clothes shopping or shoe shopping for a month. Maybe you got, you're addicted to certain things and God is leading you to abstain from them. Same thing with social media, but at the same time, while you're choosing to abstain from these things, replace those things with the word of God. Feast on the word of God, because man shall not live on bread and bread alone, but off of every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. It's time to build and strengthen our relationships with God. And that is not just for you. I'm not picking on you. This goes for each and every one of us. Because I don't know about you. I'm ready and willing to go deeper with God each and every day. Because it is God that created us. It is God that sustains us. It is God that provides for us. It is God that carries us when we cannot walk. It is God that leads us when we can't see. It is God. God is the reason why we are alive, why we're walking the face of this earth today. God is the reason why I can stand here and talk to you today. God is the reason for everything that you, you see around you right now. Whether it be the birds on the trees, the leaves on the ground the ground or the, the, the leaves that you're standing on, whether it be your children in the other room, your spouse that may be off to work, the home that you're sitting in, that car that you're driving in. If it wasn't for God, none of it would be possible. This is, these are all his things, not ours. He's merely allowing us to use them and utilize them while we're walking the face of this earth. So first and foremost, seek God first above all else. Seek ye first the kingdom of God above all else and all of these things should be added unto you. So I just pray this message blesses someone and encourages someone. So I love you all. God loves you all. Always remember, keep God first. Keep God first. And before you listen to any man or any woman on any platform, take all of that back to God first. Take all of it back to God in prayer and test the spirit behind every man and every woman and every message that they deliver before you consume it. So I just prayed this quick message, bless someone and encourages someone. I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Talk to you soon. Till next time.